1.5 degrees. This little number is a very big deal. And right now there's some bad news going around about this crucial climate change limit. And by bad news, I mean, firstly, that the news is worrying. And secondly, that journalists are being bad at reporting on the news, making it sound more worrying than it is. Confused? Don't worry. Let's talk about it. I'm Adam, a climate scientist with a PhD from Oxford, sharing what you need to know about climate change. And if that's the kind of thing you're into, go ahead and subscribe, would you? Okay, but 1.5 degrees. 1.5 degrees is the tougher limit of the Paris Climate Agreement. It means limiting average heating of the planet to 1.5 degrees Celsius or lower. Okay, but 1.5 degrees hotter than when? Well, we often say hotter than the period before the Industrial Revolution, but what scientists and policymakers actually use as a reference point is normally 1850 to 1900. But aren't some parts of the world heating up faster than others. Yes, but what the limit refers to is average temperatures. So that means average across the entire globe. And it also means average across many years. So if one year is freakishly hot and passes the threshold, that doesn't mean the limit has been breached. Something gives me the impression that that's going to become relevant in like one minute's time. The 1.5 degree limit is there to keep us safe. The hotter things get, the bigger the risk of things like extreme weather events, sea level rise, and the spread of infectious diseases. The limit is especially important for the most vulnerable among us. For example, the most vulnerable countries like low-lying island nations, and the most vulnerable ecosystems like coral reefs. Okay, so 1.5 seems pretty important. What's the bad news? Well, because of that whole global warming thing, the globe is getting warmer, and the World Meteorological Organization is warning that the next five years as a whole will likely be the hottest on record. And, and here's the 1.5 degree bit, and they estimate that there's a decent chance that one of the next five years could be 1.5 degrees hotter than the pre-industrial period. Does that mean we're passing the 1.5 degrees Celsius limit? Well, thankfully, no. Because remember all those seconds ago when I said if one year is freakishly hot and passes the threshold, that doesn't mean the limit has been breached. And what the World Meteorological Organization is warning of is a single freakishly hot year. There is a risk that the next five years as a whole could pass the threshold, but it is a substantially lower risk. Okay, but I'm sure I heard somewhere that we were about to pass the limit. Honestly, that's understandable, because despite the World Meteorological Organization literally saying that this does not mean that we will permanently exceed the 1.5 degree C level specified in the Paris Agreement, loads of the reporting has looked like this. And given that many people don't read past the headline, I genuinely feel that this is irresponsible scaremongering. Okay, but however you look at it, the truth is that we are now dangerously close to exceeding the 1.5 degree limit. Okay, so be honest, are we screwed? Well, to be frank, that's a bad question. Ugh, I'm sorry, that's not fair. There are no bad questions, only bad questioners. Look, passing 1.5 degrees isn't like we suddenly go from okay to oh no. We think of climate change as if it's this bomb that's about to go off, but that's just not how climate change works. As I say in a previous video, climate change is more like getting punched in the face, and it's never too late to stop punching ourselves in the face. Actually, let's just roll that video again. It's still the best metaphor I've ever come up with. Help! Oh no! The punching is already underway. Yes, I can feel that on my face. So if you could help as soon as possible. Okay, I'm setting a 20 punch limit. We definitely need to stop the punching by then. Or just as soon as possible. Oh dear. <clears throat> it looks like we've passed the threshold. What? I guess it's just a punch disaster now. It was always a disaster for my beautiful face, and it's getting worse. Yes, it's just too late to stop you getting punched. This is a world ruined by punching of your face. It's getting more ruined all the time, so just stop this 
attack. If only we'd all acted sooner, then we could have protected you. But better late than you know, never. You're right, we should set up a colony on Mars to escape this punch-ridden world. Okay, what? I enjoyed that. Because it was educational or because you enjoyed seeing me getting punched in the face? I don't think you want to know the answer to that. Great. So passing 1.5 degrees isn't like driving off a cliff. But yes, 1.6 degrees of global warming is worse than 1.4 degrees of global warming. But 1.6 degrees is better than 1.7 degrees is better than 1.8 degrees. So far from meaning it's game over, passing 1.5 degrees means that it's never been so urgent to stop burning fossil fuels. Which brings us to the biggest significance of closing in on 1.5 degrees. It means that our leaders are failing. The Paris Climate Agreement says that the world will pursue efforts to limit the temperature increase to 1.5 degrees C above pre-industrial levels. And every country in the world, apart from the Vatican, is signed up to the Paris Climate Agreement. But global emissions are still rising when they need to be falling. Fast. That doesn't sound much like pursuing efforts to me. Well, yeah, exactly. It's more like avoiding efforts or whatever the opposite of pursuing is. That's not the end of the story though, because there are loads of ways we can hold our leaders to account for doing whatever the opposite of pursuing is. Across the world, people are taking legal action against their governments for failing to pursue policies that would be consistent with the 1.5 degree limit, which is in the Paris Climate Agreement, which those governments signed up for. And people are raising their voices. For example, through campaigns like the Fossil Fuel Non-Proliferation Treaty, contacting their politicians directly, protesting, and sharing reliable information with family and friends, for example, in the form of amazing YouTube videos. So we're probably not going to pass the 1.5 degree limit in the next couple of years, despite the scary headlines. But we are still getting concerningly close. This doesn't mean it's game over, but it does mean that our leaders are doing a rubbish job of playing this game, and it might just be time to hand over the controller. At the heart of stopping climate change is stopping emitting, reaching net zero. But what does net zero actually mean? And is it just greenwashing? Well, you can find out the answers over here. Okay, until next time. Bye. Bye. Low lying, <laughs> low lying island nations, low lying island nations, low